Hi, in this video, you'll be discussing calculus integration and equations of tangents and normal. The question goes, a curve is such that d square y over dx square is given to be 2 multiplied to 1 minus 2x. You are also given that the equation of the normal to the curve at this point of negative 1 comma 7 is given to be 9y equals to x plus 64. You are to find the equation of this curve. You might want to pause this video to give this question a try and when you're ready, keep watching. For this question, we are given an expression for d2y over dx square, and we are to find the equation of the curve, which is the equation of the y. And to do so, it will mean we have to integrate the second derivative function by 2 times. So let's recap on the integration of power functions to the right. By the integration of power functions, which is highlighted in yellow, integrate x to the power of n dx shall give us x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c, where c refers to the arbitrary constants from the integration. We are also given the equation of the normal, this straight line equation. By rearranging it later on to a y equals mx plus c, we will be able to find the gradient of the normal. Now, we need to find the gradient of the tangents so that we can replace x to be a negative 1 to be the gradient of the tangents. To find the gradient of tangents from the gradient of the normal, we need to use the next formula over here. So, if L1 is perpendicular to L2, just like a tangent is perpendicular to the normal, the product of their gradients will therefore give us a negative 1. With these two formulas, let's start off this solution. In step 1, to find a dy dx, we have to integrate the function of d2y over dx squared over here, which are expanded to give us a negative 4x plus 2. Now, integrating a negative 4x will mean that negative 4x to the power of 2 divided by 2. Integrating a 2 should give us a 2x. And c1 refers to the arbitrary constants from this integration. In the next step, we have to find the gradient of the tangent. So we'll take a negative 1 divided by the gradient of the normal, which in this case is a 1 over 9. So gradient of tangents, which is the dy dx, is equal to negative 1 divided by 1 over 9 to give us a negative 9. Replacing your dy dx to be a negative 9 like this, as well as our x to be a negative 1 inside, we can find for our c1, which essentially is a negative 5. So over here, let's rewrite our dy dx. dy dx is given to be negative 2x squared plus 2x minus 5. Now, from our dy dx, we can therefore find y, which is the equation of the curve. And to do so, we have to integrate another time. So integrating your dy dx to give us a y, that will mean that we have to integrate negative 2x squared to give us negative 2x cubed power plus 1 divided by power plus 1, which is a 3. Integrating a 2x shall give us a 2x squared over 2. Using the same formula highlighted in yellow, integrating a negative 5 shall give us a negative 5x plus c2, and c2 refers to the arbitrary constant. Now with that in mind, we can now replace this pair of coordinates, which is x to be a negative 1 highlighted in green, as well as y to be 7 in order to solve for c2. So substituting inside, solving for c2 shall give us a 1 over 3. Replacing c2 into your y equation, this will be the answer for this question. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something again. See you in the next one.